I'm going to show you how to make a black and white print in Lightroom using the Epson print driver in the advanced black and white mode. So the first thing we need to do is to select an image and we'll go with this one. And now we're going to convert it into black and white. We'll move over to the develop module and under treatment up here, we'll just select black and white. And then I'll click on the profile browser right here. And this brings up all the different recipes, different ways to convert to black and white. I'm going to settle on black and white number six, double click on it. I'm going to give that a little tweak, take this up a little bit, and I'm going to give it a little more contrast. I'm going to bring the highlights down. I'm going to open up the shadows a little bit, and I'm going to open up the, take a little bit of the black out just so that I can maintain some information in my shadows. And I'm going to hit the dehaze a little bit. And that looks pretty good. I think that maybe my uh, exposure should come down just a tad. That looks pretty good. All right, so this is what we're going to go for here. We're now going to move into our print module. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to drop down to our color management and I'm going to change the profile up to Manage by Printer. This is going to turn off Color Sync and allow us to use the proprietary black and white conversion provided by the Advanced Black and White module. All right, so now we're going to move over to Page Setup on the left-hand side of our screen. And I'm going to confirm that we have the appropriate printer, and that is the SureColor P5000. And we want to make sure that the paper size is set correctly. And that's going to be 1722 sheet borders maximum. Then we want to make sure our orientation is correct, which is supposed to be landscape. So I'll say OK. And there we go. We now have the correct paper size selected, the correct orientation, correct printer. However, the image size is not correct on the paper at this point, but we'll deal with that in a minute. First, we're going to go down to our print settings, and we're going to confirm that we've got the correct printer selected, the P5000. We're going to move down from layout down to printer settings, and we're going to tell the printer where to look for the upper, and that's going to be in the manual feed, and what kind of paper to look for, and that's going to be the Legacy Berita. Now we can go in and select Advanced Black and White Photo, I'm going to leave the color toning at neutral. Now, the only thing I think I would change would be the super micro weave. And that is specifically for images that have a lot of very fine detail. And it actually does give a better print. You have super micro weave turned on. But this particular image doesn't have a lot of real fine detail. So the only thing that would happen here is it would slow down the printing process. So I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to leave high speed on. Now that's only should be turned on if you've done the bi-directional calibration on your printer. And on our printer, we have. So I'm going to leave high speed on. And I'm going to click up here to advanced color settings. I'm going to change the tone to dark. I'm going to give it a three horizontal and a three vertical. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add just a tiny bit of warmth to the image because normally in the advanced black and white mode, the prints come out pretty cold black and white. And so I've added just a little bit of tone to take it off of that cold and giving it a little bit of a warm feeling. All right, so that's it. We're now going to hit save. And now we're going to move over to the right hand side here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my margins. I'm going to go to a 0.12, and I'm going to go to a 0.12, and a 0.12, and another 0.12. Then I'm going to create the correct cell size, which is the size of the image. And we want that to be 20 inches. And this is going to be 13.58. So this is going to now represent how the image is going to sit on the paper. We're going to have a nice one inch border on the left and the right, and a little bit larger border on the top and the, on the bottom. 
All right, so now we're going to skip guides. We're going to skip page. We're going to move on down to print resolution. Now, what this one is, is when you print and you send an information to the printer, if you have a resolution that does not represent an even multiple of the native resolution of the printer, which in the case of the Epson is 1440, if you don't have an even multiple of that, then what ends up happening is there is a little bit of error created. It's probably nothing to worry about, but it's there. So you might as well try your best to kind of get rid of that. And one way you can do that is by telling Lightroom what is the closest even multiple of a number that is represented by the original resolution of the image. And in this case, the original resolution of this particular image was about 218. So we can look to 180 or 240, both of them, which are even multiples of 1440. And I would say that the 240 is closer to 220. So I'm going to set this number right here to 240. So this is now giving Lightroom the information it needs and what resolution to send to the driver so that we are assured that there's going to be no error created in the interpolation. All right, so print sharpening, I'm going to select, let's do a standard on this. The media type, of course, is glossy because the Barita paper is a glossy paper. We're going to select 16-bit output because the original file was 16-bit. And the uh, Manage by Printer under Color Management is appropriate because we're not using the ICC method of printing. We're using a proprietary black and white printing method. And we'll leave print adjustments alone. We don't want to create a whole other series of variables that we have to remember in six months. So let's just leave those blank. And now we can go down to Printer. And this is going to give us the last opportunity to go in and check our settings. So I'm going to move down here to Printer Settings. And this is correct. Dark is correct. The 3.3 is correct. Let's move over to our Basics. Manual Feed is correct. Legacy Barita is correct. Advanced Black and White is right. Fine Adjustment, Super 1440. Super Micro Weave turned off. High Speed turned on. That's all correct. So all we need to do at this point is hit Print. And in a few minutes, you'll have a beautiful print. So that's the advanced black and white mode utilizing the Epson print driver out of Lightroom.